I think that one of the biggest things that a roof certification helps a homeowner with when they're in either the selling position or the buying position and it brings the whole deal right to the table so that there aren't any mysteries that are going to kill your deal at the very end. Most lenders uh, require a five-year certification on the roof. You might get it past the buyer or the seller in their, their realtor and you might get it past um, you know the title company but when it comes to the very end where it needs to be funded that certification needs to be in your packet. I've run into lots of deals where it's gone all the way and they call me and they said my house won't close until I have this certification. So knowledge of how the roof is um, that it will last and not be leaking for five years is a big deal to the people funding it. And I would go on to say, if you are in a cash position, maybe you're downsizing and you're coming into a home that you're gonna buy it all cash, please always do a roof certification. It just saves you uh, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands. And in a couple cases, uh, I think I shared a story uh, a couple months ago of the guy in Hubbard. It's a historical town, and so everybody's coming there, and they're they're buying and redoing the homes as they were when they were originally founded. And this guy found this beautiful, amazing property and had this cedar shingle roof on it, and it looks from the ground just absolutely amazing. And he went ahead and bought it for uh, well over a million dollars. And uh, then he thought, well, I'm gonna keep this roof nice, so I'm gonna call Roof Life of Oregon. I'm gonna have him come out and well care it for me. The shingles that were put on his roof were misnailed. They were overdriven, so they were all the way through the shingle. They were nailed too high. And what basically was happening is if you walked on this roof, the shingles were coming out of place. They were sliding down the roof. We had to tell him that his $150,000 roof that he just purchased this property with a dream uh, needs to be replaced. And that in, he, in the next few big wins, his roof was gonna be all over the neighbor's yard. And he said, wow, I can't deal with this. I've got two other, you know, too many other things that need to happen on this property for me to be dealing with the roof. And that's an example of, we can just take something off your checklist. For example, if that young buyer would have called us and we would have gone out to that roof, we would have found those issues and he could have negotiated a brand new roof on his property and either walked from the deal or got a, the roof that was put on um, incorrectly. He would have got a deduction and gone ahead and made the purchase. This is That was an extreme case, but there's other cases where you have a home that's 15 years old in its normal wear and tear, all the pipe flashings are worn out. You have perhaps uh, gutters that are sagging on the house. That happens with age. You have some ridge caps, the very top of the roof line that are just worn out because they get all the weather 24 seven, birds land on them, you know. Caulking has come off of the fasteners that are holding your transition metals. And you might have uh, $500 to $2,500 worth of fixes to get your roof to be totally certified. All you need is five years, and then you bring your home to market and say, ta-da, I have my roof certified. Here's what I'm asking for my home. And it makes your deal go through smoothly. Let's say that the homeowner decides, well, I don't want to know that. I don't want to know all those things that are age-related on my roof. So you bring your home to market, you find a buyer that's heart goes pitter-patter when they see the home and they love the layout of your home. They love the school district, the curb appeal. And then you get into inspections and the buyer inspector finds all these issues. That buyer is in a situation where other deals are coming on the market, competing with the deal they have in front of them. And you have a very good chance of losing your deal because you didn't have your ducks in a row. So you lose your deal and in real estate, a buyer and timing is the whole thing. So we can help on the little things, you know, $500 to $2,500 fixes to big, huge roof misinstallations that are hundreds of thousands. Either way, a roof inspection and a roof certification when you're going to market in the real estate world is a really good thing for you, you as a buyer and you as a seller.